Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave, and today we're going to be doing a very uh, informal and unscientific penetration test. Uh, I have some Remington uh, UMC uh, full metal jacket uh, cartridges for my uh, 223, and I'll be shooting them. <clears throat> I'll be shooting them from my uh, model uh, 340 Savage. I also have a variety of 762 by 39 rounds. I have uh, Barnall FMJ, and I have a couple of different kinds of surplus. I've got uh, this is Ukrainian surplus with the steel penetrator, and let's see, I have Chinese surplus, uh, steel jacket, uh, copper washed steel cartridge, so on. I don't know if these have the penetrator in them or not. We'll probably find out when we shoot. 762 by 39 will be shooting from the trusty SKS. For a target about 25 yards down range, we have an aluminum transmission case. This is a cast aluminum transmission case from a Ferguson TEA 20 tractor. So we have a variety of thicknesses out here uh, in the clutch housing area. That's that's probably three quarters of an inch thick in here further inside it's three eighths to quarter inch thickness and we uh, I guess well we'll hit it in various spots and see what sort of penetration we get okay I'm gonna start out with the 223 uh, full metal jacket and I'm gonna try in the thinner area uh, or in the gearbox area I'll take a shot and we'll go down and see uh, what kind of penetration we get. Empty chamber. And we'll go have a look. Now uh, you can smell the aluminum down here. There was kind of a cloud of dust coming in. You probably couldn't see it on the camera. But you can see we definitely got penetration. It is pretty much exactly the size of the of the projectile. And oh yeah. It came right out through the other side. Uh probably about twice the size of the projectile. And right on through the instrument cluster of this old there it is, yeah. Right on through the instrument cluster of this old dryer that I'm using for a table. Okay. Well, definitely getting good penetration out of that. So, I guess I will take a shot out here on the thicker steel, that is, or aluminum rather. That's about three quarters of an inch there. Yeah, again, really good penetration, even on a, I mean, that's a, quite a steep angle there. That would have hit at about at least a 30 to 45 degree angle. And, yeah right through and right across through okay that's still only three-eighths of an inch thick here I hit back I need to move my shot out about an inch and a half yep. okay there we got a nice clean hit on the thickest part of that housing about three quarters of an inch there it came across through and fragments of it hit here you can see it spattered pieces all over it made a hole through one side but it wouldn't go through two sides of that three-quarter inch and it actually it hit right on a bolt hole here Okay, now I'm going to try a shot with the uh, Chinese surplus. I expect the results should be uh, pretty similar to the 223, just a bigger hole. I'm going to try in the thin part of the case right now, and we'll work it up too. So, there's our entrance hole and uh, 
not quite as clean a hole as the 223 but it did hit at a bit of an angle here too and oh yeah it came flying out through the backside it poked a good hole there this area right here is quite thick I'm gonna see if I can put a shot right in there and see how that makes out okay another shot of the uh, Chinese surplus I'll try to put it in that uh, bolt hole area there. So I managed to put a bullet right exactly through this bolt hole. Couldn't have hit it any cleaner if I tried which is not what I was planning to do and it came out through the back here maybe here I uh, left a good hole anyway and tore the back of the panel here all to shreds it ricocheted when it came in through the bolt hole and oh, veered off to, to the right one. yeah came off to the right and tore right through the panel here and off into the woods not to be seen again so I'm gonna have to try that again All right, it hit on the bottom edge of this flattened surface. That cut through a, a good inch of material along the edge of this pad. Where it actually went through is still only about quarter or three eighths of an inch thick. And oh yeah, ah, it didn't entirely come through the back. It broke the case up, but it did not come through did not exit okay well we found something to stop the Chinese surplus okay I'm gonna try a uh, shot with the Barnall uh, FMJ uh, steel jacketed rounds uh, again I think they're just a lead projectile no steel core um, we'll try a shot of that in that heavier pad area there uh, where the bolt holes are <laughs> See if I can get this one to go through without hitting the bolt hole. <laughs> oh, wow, really? Hit the top edge of that bolt hole. But boys, it peeled a hole through. And did not exit. But you can see in here where it hit it made a big a big gouge in the case there I don't know if you can see that or not but that is a hole there we go look at that line up clear through went through both bolt holes damn okay I'm going for my second attempt with the Barnall FMJ See if I can do it without hitting a bolt hole again. Okay, I got a hit right here, and it did not go through. Okay, you can see right here is where it hit, and that hit actually right on this web that goes all the way across the transmission there so you can see why that would not go on through so really to be fair I like to should give that another try okay so yeah it hit somewhere here just to the left of the bullet of the bolt hole and did not come all the way through it made a good hole through here but fragmented and there's no marks on the other side of the case I would say the bullet shattered fragmented didn't go on through okay 
Okay, I'm going to make first attempt with the uh, Ukrainian surplus. This is steel jacketed, steel cord, uh, and I'll go ahead just in front of the uh, where that bolt pad area is. It should be relatively the same as in behind it was there with the other shots. And nice clean hit, no surprises, nice clean hole. And boom, all the way through over here. Actually, you know, that's that's pretty thick stuff right there. It came all the way through. And uh, all the way through, and it's too dark to see that. There it is. Made a big hole right on through the uh, instrument panel. No surprises. Shot number two with the Ukrainian surplus. This time we'll try to hit that uh, heavy, thick pad on the side of the case. That shot with the Ukrainian surplus hit here right on the corner. Gouged all the way across. I would say it started to tumble a little bit because of ricochet. Kind of went sideways through there. Went sideways through here. Made a quite a little hole coming in through, but it did not go on through the instrument panel here. Didn't go through the instrument panel. Okay, I'm gonna make an attempt with the 223 on that thick pad on the side of the case. I tried two shots because I couldn't see where the first one hit. First one hit here, and the second one there. And they definitely went all the way through that part, right around the damn bolt hole. No exit. Again, very un, uh, informal and unscientific, but it gave me an excuse to come out and shoot my rifles. Uh, certainly isn't hard to tell that you do get more penetration with the 7.62 than with the uh, 5.56. Not a big surprise, but the proof's in the aluminum, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share. Have a great day.